Look at the size of that too, Dan. Yeah. There you go. I'll get the hook out for you. Whew. That one's over five. Look at this guy. Look at the belly on this one. Holy cow. You think this guy's been eating? Look at down this fish's mouth. What do you think he's eating? Mr. Crayfish didn't make it home tonight. fish was on. Time on the Water is brought to you in part by Shimano Rods and Reels. Oh no, it's a big old smallie. This is a giant bear. On the Water Outdoors is your fishing and hunting boating center. We have boats from Bass Cat, Sea Ark, Skeeter. If you hunt or fish, we've got a boat that'll work for you. For you guys who love to get out in the fall, Time on the Water Outdoors has a full service archery shop featuring the best bows from Matthews, Mission, and Hoyt. We have a 35 yard indoor range and every accessory you could think of. Come to Time on the Water Outdoors for outdoorsmen by outdoorsmen. New for this year, at Time on the Water Outdoors, we have Hyla baits. I've been fishing soft plastic baits for years and I think we put together a lineup of baits that will work in any fishing condition. Whether you flip, skip, pitch, or cast, we have a bait that will do the job. Available in many colors, sizes, and shapes, Hyla baits will help you fill your live well. Go to www.timeonthewateroutdoors.com and check out Hyla baits. A better bait at a better price. Welcome to the Inner Circle. Rotating coverage up to 300 feet gives you a detailed 360 degree view of structure, contour changes, and fish. So you can see them before they see you. Introducing 360 Imaging, only from Hummingbird. For years, they've quietly taken you where the fish are. But now the silence is about to break. With the incredible new iPilot Link, your Minn Kota and Hummingbird can communicate with each other. So you can hold on a spot like an electronic anchor, record and return to waypoints and paths, follow any Lake Master depth contour, and more, all automatically and all from your Hummingbird or the Link remote. They talk, and you'll be speechless. Time on the Water is brought to you by Minn Kota Trolling Motors. Anywhere, anytime. One of the waterways that's not far from Time on the Water Outdoors that I hadn't fished a lot before I worked down here was the Hennepin Canal. Uh, the Hennepin Canal, a lot like the I&M Canal up near the city, was originally built uh, to, for barge traffic, they would use mules or donkeys or horses to pull barges along a shallow cut. And what they were doing was uh, connecting, you know, the Lake Michigan area all the way with the Mississippi River. Um, it's been closed for navigation for a long time, but the canal still exists. And it's turned into a pretty much a, a sport fishing place. I mean, there's bass and walleye, catfish, a lot of uh, different kind of panfish. Also, it's a great place to hike or bike or, uh, you know, ride your motorcycle. Uh, so we went there to do some fishing today. Look at this. Now stay on, baby. Look at this guy. We're on the Hennepin Canal. Just about 20, 25 minutes from time on the water outdoors outside of Spring Valley. Hennepin Canal, like uh, the I&M Canal near Chicago, was built for transportation. In fact, I just caught this fish off a little piece of dam that has a date of uh, 1900 on it. I'm gonna let this guy go. Yeah, 100 years ago, uh, mule and donkey and horse carts would pull barges down this 
on their way to the uh, Mississippi River. And now it's turned into a recreation spot for hiking, biking, uh, fishing of course, and it's full of bass and there's walleye and all kinds of panfish in here. So we had one little bite earlier and then that one. Let me get rid and, of him. Uh, you know, there's five, six, seven pounders in here along with some big walleye. We're gonna see if we can get another. This trip again, I was with my favorite fishing partner, my nephew Dan. Uh, we've been fishing together since, gosh, he was just a little guy, I mean like second or third grade. And it's been interesting to watch him grow. Uh, you know, it started out, he couldn't throw a lot of different lures. Today he was out there whipping bait casting equipment and pitching and flipping with me. It was, it was really neat to see him uh, fish like that on his own and boy, he had some success. Put him in, that's a keeper. Nice one, Dan. Wacky style. Senko. Was it up there where that water's moving? Uh, no, it was in the front part. Good deal with the wacky style. I've, I've been getting some bites, but they uh, they missed the last couple, maybe with that exposed hook. You got them. Good job. All right, let's see if there's another one in there. I'll say I'll try the outside of this. Try the tip of it, yeah. Because the Hennepin Canal is relatively shallow, it warms up quickly. Uh, and because of that, it becomes one of the first places you can fish, you know, when spring comes around. Now we've had an unusually warm spring, so we've had it really warm and it cooled off. Uh, but we got there this morning, the water was in the mid to low 50s. By the time we left, it was in the upper 60s. It can change that fast. And along with the temperature change, so did the fish's mood. It was really tough in the beginning, and towards the end, it got pretty easy. Look at this. Is that a trout? Yeah. They do a trout release here every year, not far from here in the visitor center, but I've never caught one out. It just shows everything that's in here. Look at that baby. That's awesome. I thought I might catch a walleye here, though, because there's usually some walleyes below these little whistles. But uh, he was biting funny. I didn't realize what it was. And gosh, that's about the last thing I expected. Get in there, Dan. Just hooking this right through the middle. Kind of wacky style, like a finesse wacky style. You, there could just be just about every kind of fish stacked up here. Just a tiny little one. It's about 12 inches. Right as the current's coming out of this tube. Actually down here they call them whistles. But there's a lot of current coming through. Just looks like a place for a fish to be. It looks like a place for a couple of them. Put on the flick shake and threw it through there and he ate it. Time on the Water is brought to you by Humminbird Electronics. Simply, clearly, better. Welcome to the Inner Circle. Rotating coverage up to 300 feet gives you a detailed 360 degree view of structure, contour changes, and fish so you can see them before they see you. Introducing 360 Imaging, only from Humminbird. I'm on the Water Outdoors as your fishing and hunting boating center. We have boats from Bass Cat, Sea Ark, Skeeter. If you hunt or fish, we've got a boat that'll work for you. For you guys who love to get out in the fall, Time on the Water Outdoors has a full service archery shop featuring the best bows, from Matthews, Mission, and Hoyt. We have a 35-yard indoor range and every accessory you could think of. Come to Time on the Water Outdoors for outdoorsmen by outdoorsmen. Oh no, it's a big old smallie. 
this is a chime here. New for this year, it's Time on the Water Outdoors, we have Hyla baits. I've been fishing soft plastic baits for years and I think we put together a lineup of baits that will work in any fishing condition. Whether you flip, skip, pitch or cast, we have a bait that will do the job. Available in many colors, sizes and shapes, Hyla baits will help you fill your live well. Go to www.timeonthewateroutdoors.com and check out Hyla baits, a better bait at a better price. From freshwater to saltwater, anglers depend on PowerPro to provide a fish catching edge over standard monofilament or even other super braids. The use of the exclusive enhanced body technology provides a rounder, smoother, slicker, and structurally superior ultra strong braid line, enhancing pitching and flipping, jigging, casting, trolling, and big game fishing. PowerPro provides specific benefits to every situation an angler encounters and opens the door to waters never fished before. Hold it right there. The Minn Kota Talon locks you onto a fishing spot with unmatched speed and stealth. And when Mother Nature tries to knock you off your mark, hit back with the strongest hold on the water. Talon, stand your ground. Time on the Water is brought to you by Minn Kota Trolling Motors. Anywhere, anytime. You know, it's typical in the spring on this body of water, it's kind of magnified because it's so small. Uh, but it was cold early. It was cold. We were in sweatshirts and hoodies and the fishing was really slow. As the sun warmed everything up, everything started moving. We got warm, the fish got warm, they started biting. They started chasing baits instead of just waiting for something to come out in front of them. Uh, it's typical of the spring and I think it's just magnified out here on a body of water like the Hennepin Canal. Dude, not bad. Just throwing a spinnerbait up by the bank. That's actually the first fish. That's a keeper here. Probably 14, 15 inches maybe. Uh, that's the first fish we've got on any to hit on anything but plastics. I mean, I've thrown the heck out of a spinnerbait and a crankbait and just haven't gotten any results. Everything's been a tube or a flick shake or a Senko. Maybe that's a good sign. It's been kind of barren. It's just an unbelievably beautiful day. It's like 80 degrees, sun beating down. Yesterday was 50s, but this uh, Hennepin Canal, the water warms up and things change so quick because there's not that much water here. You never know what's going to happen. So maybe they're going to turn on a little bit. We'll see. You know, when we got there in the morning, it was still kind of cloudy and overcast and, and the water was really cold. Uh, not long into the day, 9, 10 o'clock, the sun broke through and it warmed up like right now. And you could really see the difference, uh, but when we got there, the water was kind of dead. As the day progressed, you saw, you saw bait fish popping, you know, crayfish moving around, uh, panfish scooting around the shore, turtles coming out. Uh, so on a smaller body of water like this, that sun can really change things in a hurry. Get the net. I'll get it. <laughs> I'm right here. Get over here. Work them this way. Keep them out of that wood. You're doing good. Oh, big fish, Dan. Big fish. Oh. Keep them coming. I'm almost, we're almost there. <laughs> Look at the size of that dude, Dan. Yeah. There you go. Here, I'll get the hook out for you. Whew. That one's over five. 
Got him? Yeah. What did you do? I put, I threw right by the log, and I thought I got hooked on the log, and then I seen this sucker come up. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm gonna get a couple of pictures of that one too. What was that on? What bait? That was on uh, well, a wacky style, basically tube. I don't know what you would call it. But what we've more. mostly been catching them on. Hold it in front of you, in front of your shirt. That's awesome, Dan. Is that your biggest fish? It's That's biggest me. in a while. Yeah, that guy's over five. All right, let her go. <laughs> what did that feel like? Felt like it felt like a stick, like a stick, because you were moving, and I uh -huh. thought I was hung up. And then I pulled that. Through. And he was just like right next to a log. It was like right by branches. Wow. That's a heck of a big fish out of here. I mean, I thought that three and a half pounder I caught earlier was big. I don't know what you call it. Wacky style. Well, it, it looks like the hook just popped through on you. Luckily, uh, I thought you got hooked on that wood, but that's awesome. Yep. Well, get some more. Daniel, I think that might be your biggest fish. Except biggest bass Jacksonville. <laughs> yeah, yeah, except for Jacksonville, but not bad for the Hennepin Canal. Nope. You know, as far as structure goes, it's really rock and wood and some grass. Uh, a little later in the year, if we went back to the same place we saw today, you could frog. It would the sides just moss up, but there's a lot of timber. A lot of rock, there's some current, uh, not a lot of different things going on, but all of them hold fish and it can be a really great place to fish. Here's one. Cast over here by this piece of wood. He's about, uh, I would have needed about five of these to make the size of that last one you caught, Dan. That's a little dude. Seems as the sun's warming up the water, they're getting shallow and biting a little bit Water's better. 61 degrees. Right yeah, what now. was it when we launched? 53? It was 53. About. Yeah, that's crazy. But there's, you know, there's so little water here. It's it's not that deep. Most of the time we've been fishing in three or four feet or less. And it can warm up a crazy amount just in a day. And as we see, there's some big ones in here. We had two pretty nice ones with your big one. Not bad for 20 minutes from uh, work at Time on the Water Outdoors. Time on the Water is brought to you by Humminbird Electronics. Simply, clearly, better. Rotating coverage up to 300 feet gives you a detailed 360 degree view of structure, contour changes, and fish. So you can see them before they see you. Introducing 360 imaging, only from Hummingbird. Time on the Water Outdoors is your fishing and hunting boating center. We have boats from Bass Cat, Sea Ark, Skeeter, if you hunt or fish, we've got a boat that'll work for you. For you guys who love to get out in the fall, Time on the Water Outdoors has a full service archery shop featuring the best bows from Matthews, Mission, and Hoyt. We have a 35 yard indoor range and every accessory you could think of. Come to Time on the Water Outdoors for outdoorsmen by outdoorsmen. Oh no, it's a big old smallie. This is a giant bear. this year at Time on the Water Outdoors, we have Hyla baits. 
I've been fishing soft plastic baits for years and I think we put together a lineup of baits that will work in any fishing condition. Whether you flip, skip, pitch, or cast, we have a bait that will do the job. Available in many colors, sizes, and shapes, Hilo Baits will help you fill your live well. Go to www.timeonthewateroutdoors.com and check out Hilo Baits, a better bait at a better price. From freshwater to saltwater, anglers depend on PowerPro to provide a fish catching edge over standard monofilament or even other super braids. The use of the exclusive enhanced body technology provides a rounder, smoother, slicker, and structurally superior ultra strong braid line, enhancing pitching and flipping, jigging, casting, trolling, and big game fishing. PowerPro provides specific benefits to every situation an angler encounters and opens the door to waters never fished before. Hold it right there. The Minn Kota Talon locks you onto a fishing spot with unmatched speed and stealth. And when Mother Nature tries to knock you off your mark, hit back with the strongest hold on the water. Talon, stand your ground. Time on the Water is brought to you by Minn Kota Trolling Motors. Anywhere, anytime. You know, the Hennepin Canal, you can launch just about any size boat there, but it is small. There's a 10 horsepower restriction. You can put a big boat, a bass boat on, fish with your trolling motor, that's fine. Uh, if you had a little kicker motor with a 1010, that's even better because it goes for miles. I mean, it goes a long way. Uh, so not a big boat place and nowhere you're going to run around. It's just pretty much idle or trolling around. Uh, but something close to Chicago, really close to time on the water outdoors. Uh, you get an extra hour, hour and a half. You want to make a good fishing trip, the Hennepin Canal can be a great place. There's one. Not a giant, but okay. Another keeper, anyway. Well, maybe not. He's although he's probably 12, 13. I believe that's a keeper here, actually, on this canal. <clears throat> but it seems as the water has been warming, there they've been getting a little more active. Earlier, we couldn't catch them on anything but plastics, and now I've gotten a couple on a spinner bait. Dan got that big one. Uh, all in a little stretch of time here, we've actually kind of identified a railroad bridge up ahead we're going to go up to and fish that and back and call it a day, but uh, it seems to be improving a little bit. You know, canals are kind of different. It, it, it's a little different than a river in that there's still current, there's current in both, uh, but there really aren't uh, any backwaters or eddies or anything. It's pretty much just a straight shoot. Um, which makes it good for locating fish because they're, they're either at the bottom of the trough or up on the bank. Uh, but you don't have, you know, regular current breaks and, and eddies and, like I said, rock piles and stuff like in a river like we think the Mississippi or the Wolf. Uh, but fishing can be great. Uh, the fish there have grown up. There's a lot of bait for them. Uh, it was well worth the trip. You know, earlier on in the day, we, we, we were fishing some flick shakes and stuff, but when you got into those areas with all that wood, it, there, it's just a snag after a snag after a snag. Uh, we went down to heavy line. Uh, Dan was using some Power Pro, and I went down to uh, like a 20 pound fluorocarbon. Everything had to get Texas rigged because there was just everything underwater you could get hooked on, but that's where the fish were. You had to go in after them, and uh, boy, we figured it out. There's one, pretty nice one. Just thrown in this wood. Let 
There you go. Dan, we're going to end up with a pretty good limit out of there. Come here. Just dragging it through this shallow wood. Yeah, thanks for making for pushing. Nice little fat fish. That's a good one. And I'll tell you what, they seem to be biting a lot harder now. Earlier they were just kind of getting on it. Uh, that one just yanked it. So let's catch about five more of those and another one as big as yours. It's turning into a good afternoon. Thanks for pushing me, Dan. When we started out and fishing was kind of slow, it was all on plastics. I was pitching a tube, uh, Dan was throwing a Senko and a grub a little bit, and then I did a little flick shake. Everything was small, you had to kind of shake it in front of the fish. Uh, as the day went on though, I started throwing a spinner bait up against the banks and, and the fish were getting more active and they were hitting that pretty good. Uh, Dan stayed with the plastics and in That's fact got a big a fish on the tube. It's the biggest, uh, in the biggest fish probably yeah, of this career. Uh, but you know, just a relatively small amount of baits. It, it's, it's a small body of water. You don't need a lot of things, but boy, you can have a lot of fun. You know, another thing about the Hennepin Canal is because of the way it was made, uh, with these tracks, you know, that horses and donkeys moved along, it's a really easy place to fish from the bank. Uh, there are probably more bank fishermen there than, than there were in boats, and you can really hit all the same structure you can hit from the boat. Uh, you can walk down one of the tracks, it's really nicely manicured, you, you know, it's easy to go, bring a bike, bring your dog, bring the family, and then just stop, you know, periodically on the shore and flip wood, you know, throw some spinner baits, throw some plastics. You can catch a big fish right from the bank. Just another nice keeper. As the day goes on, this little dude, as the day's going on, I just commented as the water's warmed up, now you see bait fish popping. Uh, the turtles are moving a little more. The water temp has rise seven or eight degrees already and, and things are getting more active. I'm now just throwing the spinner bait just in between wood clumps and through them and, and every once in a while you get one of those a hit. So, uh, and then every, you know, four or fifth one's been a good one like that one Dan caught, so. We're actually working our way back to the ramp now. Just gonna fish it back and hopefully we can get three or four more on the way.